What is up guys? Quick little reptile update and tarantula update. First off, I have my P. Metallica who is sitting right here. Um, I did have an issue with her about a week ago, uh, a week to two weeks ago. I threw a fly in there, it grabbed her leg, and she kicked the fly with her leg. So, the leg is gone. But thankfully, as we all know with tarantulas, oh, they yawn, they're so cute! Thankfully, as we all know with tarantulas, they usually grow their legs back uh, a molt to two, two molts later. Um, I have a beautiful male jumping spider who is right here. Little bitty feller. He is mature. I have my male dead, uh, Alpha Lapelma Samani, uh, striped knee. I have some millipedes. I'm actually breeding. As you can see, there's one of them right there. These are fairly decent size for my area. Um, I have a mystery spider that I know absolutely nothing about. It's a terrestrial. Um, uh, yeah, that's that's all I know. Uh, I have my gorgeous Carabina Versicolor up here. Sadly, as you guys know, I did have two, but the uh, male uh, ended up escaping his enclosure and he got away. And uh, I don't think he made it. Here I have my male. I have a juvenile pink toe. Not sure the sex yet because I haven't I haven't got a molt from him in a while. Um, I have my female wolf spider, fairly large wolf spider, still pretty small for the area that I've seen, but hey. Um, I've got this mean little bastard who, who just wants to pinch the shit out of me. It is a mature male stag beetle, and he won't let go of this. I have been pinched by this. It does not feel pretty at all. Um, not gonna lie, I almost cried. Okay, not gonna lie, I did cry. Um, here we have the Venezuelan sun tiger sling up inside here. You can kind of see its legs. Yeah, see the legs? About this long now, and got a fat ass on it. Like, she's so got a big old spider booty. Um, Christian Hunt, this video is for you. This is just the downstairs animals. We'll be making a video tomorrow on the upstairs animals. Here we have a very skinny pink toe, which I do believe is a mature, which is going to be a mature male next mold. Um, he's not eating. It's an insect. Only thing I do is try to force feed him, which I have actually done. Uh, anyway, here's the green bottle blue and her new setup. She's loving this section of the tank. And if you guys want a spider that webs phenomenally, get a green bottle blue. Don't worry about anything else. Get you a green bottle blue. I promise you, you will not be upset other than the fact that this is not really a spider you can handle. Uh, on to the uh, reptile category, I think. Oh, my other uh, Alpha Lapelma Samani. She's back here, too. Here are the two juvenile corn snakes that I managed to get a couple months back. Just fed them yesterday. Gorgeous. Look at the size of this one compared to this one. Yeah. Um, sexual dimorphism, maybe? Boy, girl? Mmm. -hmm. Uh, they get fed exactly the same time. They get fed the exact same amount. If one doesn't eat, I don't feed the other one. Uh, just so competition is down because sometimes this one's like, oh, I'm not hungry. But I'll feed the other one and then he'll get real froggy and then they'll have a fight over it. And so I just, I, if one don't eat, I don't feed the other. Uh, if they both eat, they both eat. But look at these guys. Look at how freaking cute. This one is actually pink and this one is purple. Uh, not sure on the morphs. I was told lavender, uh, but I'm not sure the pink one. I was thinking popcorn, but it's it's not pink enough. It's too pink. Popcorns aren't pink. They're yellow and white. Uh, here we have the uh, rescued garter snake who is refusing to eat still. Um, I have fed her once managerly, thankfully. She's still mean, and she is in a deep shed, as you can see, with those eyes. So I don't fuck with her a lot. Uh, next animal on the list is my other female, mature. Alpha Lapelma Samani, which I might be selling these two girls at some point, um, to a breeder. So, uh, yeah, fingers crossed. I uh, was told, uh, yeah, if I sold them to her, no, to him, if I sold them to him, uh, that he would give me a 50-50 on the clutch. So, I'm just saying, fuck it, because he has uh, two or three mature males, and I'm like, can I just buy one? He's like, no. I'm like, okay, well, fuck it, I don't need them anyway. And uh, I know they'll be fed here, because your guys are fat. So, uh, yeah. Uh, up in here, you guys tipped your water bowl like dickheads. Uh, we have the two baby garter snakes. I'm going to try to... Uh, where are the... Where are these? Here they are. What are we at? Four minutes? Not bad. I'm going to go ahead and unlock their cage. This is actually a beta tank I bought from Walmart. I just turn it sideways and convert it with some hinges. And uh, here they are. As you can see, we have this beautiful yellow one. And then back here, we have your more sultry common color these things are very wily very wily even though i handle them 
constantly. Uh, this is your common color. Are you in shed? You are. Holy shit, look how blue those eyes are. Can you stay still for a minute? Look at how blue those, oh, they are. Get in there. No wonder you didn't eat. And then we have this gorgeous, uncommon yellow checker three-striped. Absolutely stunning little snake. I'm so glad I picked this one up. Um, actually, quite a few years ago, uh, roughly four years ago, I was bass fishing, and I caught a large mouth that actually had a live garter snake in the mouth. And, uh, yeah, I took it out. I thought I was going to get the same kind of luck this year when I caught a bass that was up in the shallows. Like, literally up in the shallows. Like, it looked like a walleye. It was up in front of a culvert. Uh, the pond I fish at, they put blockers in front of the culverts so the fish can't get through. Big, heavy objects can't get through either, so the ponds don't, you know, get nasty. Uh, tree debris stays in this pond instead of going into this pond, and it just makes it easier for them to clean it up. Uh, but he was, up there, he was up there, you know, jacking around, went and cast it out. Uh, threw a night crawl in front of it, he dove over right for it, and um, caught him, opened his mouth up, pulled the hook out, and he had a baby turtle in his mouth, and it was a bit of ways down, so I reached in, his gullet pulled it out, and he had crushed the poor little fella. So there, there was nothing I can do. Um, here we have the uh, male green anole who is still kicking inside of this little tank. Um, yeah, he's skinny. He's uh, getting up there uh, in his time. And uh, I'm actually shocked he's still around, to be completely honest with you. And uh, this is one that uh, has me worried because uh, she hasn't eaten for a couple days. Um, and ever since the male died, she's been real finicky, especially once she got out. And I actually see her right here, so she's either dead or alive. Oh my god, look at the tail growth. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a shedded foot. Look at that. It's a f what the fuck was that? It's a it's a foot shed. Look how cool that is. Let me try to just Whoa 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 you ain't getting out you ain't getting out twice, bitch. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Oh don't 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 drop that tail again. Uh here is my orange throat skink. Uh what I do believe uh, is actually turning into a red side skink who is currently shedding out the ass. These things don't make great pets. Uh, they don't like attention. Um, they're real ornery. And uh, yeah, they die very easily. Uh, this one actually got out of my room, got out of its cage, and was loose in my room for an entire two days. Eventually, I managed to catch her, and this was after the male had died. I don't know why he died. But he croaked on me just a few hours after I found out that she was missing. She's a good little lizard, don't get me wrong. And they love to lick everything. As you can see, look, look at that tongue. Look at that little tongue flourish. I'd love to get her another one. I'd love to get her another male. Because uh, I was really looking forward to breeding these guys. Uh, they're very easy to breed. Oh, I forgot to show you the tail growth. You guys saw her when I... I think I saw her when I made a video when she lost her tail. First off, look at how the scarecrow of those feet are. Look how scarecrow they are. But look at the tail growth. It's only been like a month. A tail growth is nuts. And she'll drop that again if I pick her up wrong. So, uh, yeah. We're going to go ahead and just put her back in here. That is the end of all the animals. I do believe. Don't quote me on that. Oh, no, 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 no. Pick you guys up. My uh, Indian ornamental male. And I should have a female coming in the next couple of days. Uh, if the deal goes through, it's going to cost me nothing uh, except a, uh, yeah, a uh, future tarantula that, I'm not, that I have. Uh, they don't want it right now, but they want it in the future, so I told them, okay, no biggie. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed today's little video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. I would say to go check out Copperhead Junkie, but that little shithead is already higher up in the YouTube channel than I am at 689 subscribers. Like, that is nuts. Dude, you keep doing what you're doing. And bro, please bring your ass back. You've been gone too long. It's over a month, dude. People are gonna stop. People are gonna stop subscribing, and they're gonna they're gonna unsubscribe, dude. Trust me. I've I've been there. It is not a fun scene to have, you know, a hundred subscribers and wake up the next day, uh, and you've been gone off YouTube for a month, and to have fifty or less or just a little under hundred even. It's just, it sucks losing subscribers, guys. So, if you see this video, dude, please come back. You've got plenty of animals. You've got animals that rival mine. We need you. Those copperheads, man, I need updates. Update me, bitch. I need to know what's going on. Uh, but anyway, guys, I'm off here. Please check out Richard's Reptiles. Uh, Underground Inverts. Invertebrates. I think that's what Mad Mags changed his name to. He was originally uh, 
House, the House of Invert Studio, and there's several others that I can't think of at the moment, but I apologize to you guys, and I'll bring you up in the next video. So like, comment, and subscribe, and I am out. Later. That never works. Shit.